chow. There is no radiator pet cock for this vehicle, so in order to drain the coolant yourself, you will need to pull the lower radiator hose, which is in the middle of the radiator on the passenger side. Start by removing the splash shield. These are T25 Torx. Disconnect this sensor, pull the metal clip, and pull the whole neck off the radiator. Be careful because the neck is only plastic. Let the fluid drain into a catch pan underneath the car. Make sure to use the correct fluid directly from VW. When you start the engine, coolant is going to get sucked back into the engine and radiator. This is a self-regulating system, so you don't need to burp it. Like zoom in on it, because it's gurgling. The max line is just under the halfway seam on the coolant reservoir. Run the engine and check the level frequently. Once the level has stabilized and the bubbles have stopped, make sure you're in between the min and max lines on the coolant reservoir. Thank you so much for watching. I offer consulting and automotive education so you don't get taken advantage of at auto shops. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe below so we can help other people find this video. You can find other helpful tips and tricks on my Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, and LinkedIn at Girly Garage.